Welcome to a, another QGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create points uh, and create data, create vector data with QGIS. And so you'll see here that I have a layer added in already. This is a layer that represents streams uh, for a certain for a certain location. This is actually in northern Utah. And what I want to do is I want to create some points along this stream network. And this is actually really easy to do in QGIS. The procedure is going to be to create a new file, a new point shape file, uh, and then to just add points to that shape file. And maybe what I want to do is mark some locations from imagery. And so I'm going to go over and I'm going to pull in uh, the Google Maps imagery here. And this is the Google Hybrid, so it's going to have imagery with some labels. So I'm going to drag that in, and if you want to see how to add that, I'll link the video in the cards above so you can see how to add Google imagery to your maps. And I'll just drag the stream order up above that. Okay, and there we go. So this is a creek called Spawn Creek, and I know there are some beaver ponds or beaver dams along this creek, and maybe I want to mark the locations of those, and so that's what I'll, I'll add to my map here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to click on uh, this new shapefile layer right here. Okay, so we'll click on the new shapefile layer. And here's where I can give it a file name. And so I'm going to click, I'm going to browse to a location. Uh, and on my C drive, I have this temp folder where I put data that I'm working with, but that I don't intend to keep on my computer forever. And so I'll go there and I'll create an Esri shape file and I'll call this uh, Beaver Ponds. And I'll save that. And then I'm going to come down here and you may want to adjust your coordinate system. Uh, this coordinate system is the UTM zone 12, and that's the same coordinate system my stream order map is in, my stream order layer is in. And so I'll go ahead and keep that. My geometry type is point. Uh, we can also do line and polygon files as well, but we'll go ahead and do the point. And then if I want to add any fields, I can. I'm not going to worry about that for now, but you can add those fields here, and I'll just show you what you can do. Let's say I want to add a text field called description. I'll uh, just maybe name it desk because you're going to be limited in the number of characters you can put in here, probably to nine. Uh, so I'll leave that, the description, the it's going to be text, the length is going to be 80, I can change this to be a number, a decimal number, or a date, and then I'm going to click add to fields list, and it will give me that. And so I've got that ready to go, uh, I'm going to shrink this down a little, now I'll go ahead and click OK. And if I want to remove that, I can select here and remove these fields as well. So let's go ahead and click OK, and then I have the beaver ponds layer here to start adding points. All I need to do is select beaver ponds in my table of contents and come to this pencil icon to toggle editing. That will turn editing on. You can also cut right click and come down to toggle editing here. So I'll click toggle editing and you'll notice when I do this it has the pencil over my layer symbology here so that I'm able to see that I'm editing this layer. And to add a point I'm going to come up to this editing toolbar again, and I'm going to click on Add Point Feature. And now you'll see I have these crosshairs, and I'm going to add points where those crosshairs are located. So I'll go ahead and I'll click, uh, first I'll click on this beaver pond up here, and it's going to give me an ID, and it's going to give me a description. If I don't add anything, it will keep these null, or I can sequentially add them or add whatever I want to. So I'll name that beaver pond 1, and the description is beaver pond. And I'll click OK on that one. And let's add one here. And I'll just keep those null. You see the point still appears. There's just no information associated with it. And I'll add one here. And I'll name, give this the ID of 2. And I'll call this the, the biggest one yet. And then I'll click OK. And then I can come down and I'll zoom in. I can see there are several ponds in here. There's one there. We'll keep that null. One there. Null there, there, and there. 
and then you can see some more down here. So I'll just go ahead and add these in. Okay. And then you can see some more of those are down here. And I could come down and let's say that if I had other imagery and this one's new, I could come down and select that one and we'll name that one three and say okay. Or we'll name out three and say new pond, give it the description and say okay. All right, so we've got some points added in there now. You can see how that's done. And if I want to save those edits, I can click the Save button here. Uh, the current edits gives me some options. So I can roll back or cancel the edits. So if I made a mistake uh, with everything I did, I can cancel all those edits so they don't save. I also have the button over here, which will undo the edit. And so you can see this last one I just made if I click undo, that point disappears. Then I can click redo, and that point will reappear. And so it's pretty easy to go back and forth if you make a mistake while you're editing. Okay, so I have those edits. I want to go ahead, well, I guess before that, I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to open up the attribute table. So this will show me the attributes. And you can see the ponds that I've created. And you can see the, uh, the first ID that I have Beaver Pond, and you can see the ones they haven't added, added any information to. And so all that information I enter in shows up here uh, in my attribute table. And let me open that back up again, actually. So while I have that opened in editing mode, I should be able to go in here and edit this. So I've got three, so we'll make this one four. And we can name a beaver pond. And we can name this one five. And we can name it another one. Okay. And so we're good to go there. And then when I'll close out of this, and now I want to save these edits. And so I'm going to come click Save Edits. Okay, so now those edits I've made are saved. I'm still in editing mode because you can still see the editing uh, pencil is turned on with the blue square around it. And I still have the editing button here. If I now toggle editing again, it turns editing off. And I can open this attribute table up. And you can see that I can no longer make edits to these fields that are null. I can click on them, but I can't make any edits. And you've also noticed that the little the crosshairs I had to add points are now gone, and so I'm not able to add points anymore. But the edits I made are there. I can even grab my identify tool, and I can click on those points. And you can see the information showing up over here with ID and description. Okay. So very simply, that's how you're able to add points uh, to a map and to create a new point shape file using QGIS. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other QGIS tutorials you would like to see, please comment below and I'd be happy to go ahead and do those tutorials for you uh, as I have the time. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out.